Hi, I'm Ken Mack from Tackle 2000 Incorporated, manufacturers of the Rocket Bobber. Prior to design of the Rocket Bobber, we at Tackle 2000 looked at six specific characteristics we felt were essential for an all-around bobber. Casting distance, accuracy, visibility, sensitivity, versatility, and durability. Let's start with casting distance. Average casting distance of the Rocket Bobber is 30 to 40 yards without any additional weight whatsoever. The bobber is designed to fly tip first, which reduces the potential for line tangle and gets your bait out to where the fish are. The Rocket Bobber is available in three sizes, the large six and a quarter inch game fish size, the junior four and three quarter inch panfish size, and now new, the mini Rocket Bobber, great for ultra lights. The Rocket Bobber is available in a number of colors, an orange top for sunny days, a yellow top for cloudy days, both have a matte finish which reduce glare and are very easy to see. The sensitivity of the Rocket Bobber is, when fishing for panfish, the Rocket Bobber is designed to lay flat on the water. As soon as that fish inhales the bait, that bobber is going to begin to stand up. That's when you can set the hook. You don't have to wait until the bobber is all the way up and down. The Rocket Bobber is actually two bobbers in one. It can be a lock-on or a slip bobber by simply depressing the end cap and turning 180 degrees to your desired setting. The Rocket Bobber is made of a hard plastic material. The two halves are sonic welded, not glued for maximum strength. Unlike your typical uh, balsa floats or your foam floats that can be stepped on or broke or hit the boat and crack, this bobber is gonna last basically a lifetime. Also located on the tip of the Rocket Bobber is a built-in hook remover. This comes in handy if you forget your tools. So. Now let's go out and see if we can catch some fish. You know, a lot of times you can put a split shot on to get past those smaller fish, but... Okay, now notice that bobber. Now it's just going to lay flat. As that, uh, as that worm's dropping down like that, that hook and worm, just going slow. As soon as the fish inhales it, there he is right there. See him stand up? There he is. It's so simple. It's, it's any age. It's great for any age. What you're going to do is you're going to get casting distance. You're going to get the accuracy. Here we go. Yeah, this isn't a bad bad gill. He was up a little higher. What the heck? A fish again. Boy, these fish are on. Yeah, it's pretty easy to catch a fish fry in from shore or boat. You're going to get your bait out to where the fish are. Steve's in the back bay doing a little shore fishing. He's using a number six long shank hook, a piece of night crawler, and the rocket bobber set up about two feet. Average casting distance with the Rocket Bobber is 30 to 40 yards. The bobber is designed to lay flat on the water when fishing for panfish. As soon as that bobber begins to stand up, you can set the hook. You don't have to wait until it's completely vertical or underwater. As soon as it begins to stand up, there you go, set the hook. As soon as that fish inhaled the bait, that bobber began to stand up. The sensitivity is incredible. The Rocket Bobber offers six major features. Casting distance, accuracy, visibility, sensitivity, versatility, and durability. And oh, by the way, now it incorporates a hook remover on the tip. It can be used as a lock-on or a slip bobber without having to cut your line. What more could you ask for in a bobber? The Rocket Bobber by Tackle 2000 Incorporated. All right, next let's take a look at uh, the slip bobber. All I'm gonna do is just clip this thing on and you're gonna notice when I cast out, all right, that jig's gonna start dropping down and as soon as it reaches that bobber stop, okay, the bobber's gonna stand straight up. It's gonna be vertical now. And when the fish inhales the bait, that bobber's gonna start dropping down. So let's see what we can do. Now if I can just find that crib. It's right up in here somewhere. Let's see if we can try it right there. Notice that bobber's laying flat. Now as soon as that jig is all the way down to the stop, okay, there it is. Now it's standing up straight. I know that it's at six and a half feet right now. I can set that stop at 10 feet, three feet, whatever I wanna do. Okay, that, there it is. Oh, there's a small fish right there. Oh, you just look at that. That's the upbite right there where they come up on it. There he goes. That's a fish right there. Let's see what we got here. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, it's a small little gill. There might be some bigger gills on here. 
Well, that's not a real bad gill. And it's actually a little either. Wow, that's a dandy. Look at the size of that one. Look at the stomach on these. Look things. at that baby. What do you think of the belly on these things? Unbelievable. <laughs> that's a good belly. That's on that new rocket bobber, too. That's the one that's coming out next year. That's the one for 2010. Wow. You know, that's another oh, one. That's look just at, like, one of the one I just oh, got. If this is a panfish, this is going to be a good one. Look at the size of that. That is a good, 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 blue good bluegill. You know, folks, the other huge advantage to the rocket bobber is that you can cast them a country mile. They'll easily cast 30 to 40 yards. And for the shore angler, it allows you to fish areas you've never fished before. Any way you want to slice it, folks, the rocket bobber, it's really the only bobber you need in your tackle box. Well, that's the rocket bobber, a super sensitive, long casting weighted bobber that contains absolutely no lead. It's great for all ages and will probably put a lot more fish in the old frying pan. Thanks again and good luck fishing from all of us here at Tackle 2000.